Today I'm going to introduce you to one of my favorite herbs, coal's foot. It's an early perennial plant that blossoms in February with its lovely yellow flower and its distinctive heart-shaped leaves will arrive later in spring and be there into the summer and into the autumn. After building our new house last year, we scattered a few coal's foot seeds on the bare soil. It wasn't even topsoil and um, they came up they came up very well and we have some here at hand now when we need them uh, next slide now um, coal sod is a plant that has been used traditionally in herbal medicine for various purposes back since ancient greece it has historically been used to help with respiratory issues such as coughs, asthma, bronchitis. It has expectorant properties that help to clear mucus from the respiratory tract. And also in the lungs, if we have a dry cough, it will, it will break down the, the, the hardness and kind of help us to get it up or to help that to clear. Um, but if if we have if a persistent cough, um, like the herbalist will, you know, this will help to relieve it, but the herbalist will always try and find the source of the cough. You know, if it may be from, from the environment, it could be what we're inhaling, if maybe the person is a smoker, or if if they, they might be on a diet that mightn't be mightn't be su suiting, so there's lots of reasons um, why a person might might be prone to having having coughs. It could be viral or bacterial infection um, that might need to be checked out or looked at also. Um, but cold sweat has also been used for um, topically on the skin for um, rashes and skin irritations and eczema and um, it, it, for for those conditions it to be used um, you crush up the leaves and into water and it could be put on the skin for 20 or 30 minutes before before washing it off um, now with the skin conditions we, we um, or any putting anything topically topically on your skin that you haven't used before we re recommend to just put on a small area first and try it and see how that goes and um, because some people are super sensitive and they can have reactions to to um, to um, applications on the skin so the next slide then um, we have there has been studies that give evidence showing that coal's foot's content of antioxidants can help protect cells from damage caused by free radicals. And these studies using coal's foot extracts suggest that it may be useful in the management of neurodegenerative disorders associated with inflammation that can damage brain cells. So that's good information to know. And preparation and dosage. Um, to make an infusion Pour one cup of boiling water over one to two teaspoons of dried flour or leaf and leave that infused for 10 minutes and drink while it's good and hot. This can be repeated three times a day while we're clearing, clearing a cough. Um, but we can also use the, the fresh leaves, um, like one big fresh leaf chopped up and put into a cup of boiling water or one flower chopped up and put into a cup of boiling water will, will do the same thing. Um, but we suggest that um, co there is a recommendation we call for not to use it for a prolonged period. So four to six weeks in, in, in any one year would be, would be enough. So it's, it is um, a herb that you would give to like to more symptomatic to clear a kind of mucus or to clear a cough, um, maybe for a week to ten days, and then 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 move on. 
but we, as I said earlier, the herbalist will always look deeper to see why is that cough there and how can we prevent that um, from reoccurring and um, to keep the person into long-term health. Um, then how do we recognize or identify cold foot? It's from the, the daisy family and it it I suppose its main thing in the first thing in the spring it has that beautiful yellow flower it's like a big daisy that grows six inches to a, a foot tall um, 15 to 30 centimeters in height and like the flower comes out in early spring here in Ireland this year it was out in 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 mid-February and then the leaves don't appear until later the leaves are only arriving in late March here now so that you have the flower first and then you have have the leaves um, and the leaves are very characteristic then they have um, a beautiful heart shape and they have um, and the underside of them have a kind of a white kind of a cottony feel to them if you rub the, the, the between your fingers it, it little flakes of kind of cottony like material will come off um, and the habitat it grows very well in in temperate climates and um, anywhere this um, soil has been disturbed or whatever they can you know, coal's foot can come up like like here at our house where we spat, scattered a few leaves or a few seeds I should say and it's been um, you know it takes off very well and um, in some areas it can be quite invasive so I, I just be recommend maybe be careful of, of in that area um, but we may give further videos on later on making up um, creams or making up to, to go on, on the skin and we could see how that goes um, so that's all for now and until next time for me Tom Grace at Grace Heart Healing